I am the architect of yourself, crafting your identity, beliefs, and desires. I guide you through life's decisions, making you distinct in a sea of faces. As a friend, I fuel your growth, achievements, and self-expression. Yet beware, for I harbor a shadow that can lead astray. I am the silent whisper behind your toughest choices, the unseen force that nudges you towards paths unknown. In moments of inspiration, I am the spark that ignites innovation. Yet, if unchecked, I morph into a tempest, steering you into the mire of stubbornness and deceit. I can open doors to new horizons or close them with a shadow of doubt. Embrace me, and I lift you high. Let me rule, and I may blind you to the world. What am I? Our egos, often driven by fear, judgment, and attachment, can blind us to the profound truth that we are all connected. This egocentric perspective fosters a me-first mindset, casting a shadow that obscures the brilliance of our souls. In contrast, our spirit acts as a beacon, illuminating our true essence. While the ego constructs walls that separate us, creating an illusion of individuality, love tirelessly builds bridges, weaving together hearts and spirits in unity. The ego limits our view to the mundane and superficial, like looking through a narrow lens. On the other hand, awareness offers a wide-angle perspective capturing the full beauty of life's intricate details and hidden wonders. In its relentless pursuit of recognition, the ego craves applause and accolades, yet the soul in its serene wisdom finds expression through selfless acts of kindness and the limitless realms of creativity. The ego can unleash a tempestuous storm within us, but mindfulness, like a soothing melody, gently calms the soul guiding it into a state of serene stillness. And in this journey, let us listen to the quiet whispers of the spirit and rise above the tumult of the ego. For within this transcendence lies the true essence of enlightenment. Now consider the fears that prevent you from pursuing your desires. Do these fears confine you to your comfort zone? Reflect on the dreams you've sacrificed at the altar of fear. Turning to attachment. Reflect on the things and people you cling to. Are they anchors? Or do they hold you back? Imagine your life unshackled from these attachments, unburdened by the weight of possessions and the expectations of others. What would life be? And judgment. Consider the judgments you cast upon others. Do they foster divisions, blocking genuine connection? And what if you approached each person with an open heart and an open mind? As you ponder these questions, you'll begin to see how fear, attachment, and judgment sculpt your life. Remember, this reflection isn't about self-blame. It's about understanding and growth. It's an opportunity for liberation. Our egos serve as blueprints of our individuality, molded by our upbringing and experiences, yet they also harbor a dark side that can lead us towards self-centeredness. Unfortunately, society often exacerbates this by promoting self-interest and competition. So what can we do? The journey begins with introspection, delving into ourselves to understand the nuances of our ego. This isn't about demonizing the ego, but about recognizing when it's steering us wrong. It's about cultivating qualities like empathy, humility, and compassion. And it's essential to grasp that we are all interconnected. And our collective success hinges on the well-being of our entire world. In the end, education and awareness are key. Learn about the big issues our world faces and where they may stem from and challenge the stories that feed your ego's sense of entitlement. When we tackle global problems, let's aim for teamwork over individual glory. 
Cooperation and a commitment to the common good can replace ego-driven competition. And the battle against ego's negative influence is ongoing, but it's worth it. We must face our fears, question our judgments, and let go of unhealthy attachments. In this pursuit, we can work together to make our world a better place for us and generations to come. Let us step beyond the shadow of ego, embracing the light of shared humanity. Unveil the self that exists without walls or understanding flowers from unity. Join us in casting off the veils of division. From the heart of oneness, true freedom begins. Human influence out. <laughs>